This is a special podcast presentation from 700WLW.com. This is Casey Boland On Demand. Joined by Casey Boland of Hanghole Capital Management. And uh, Casey, on the subject of budgets, I guess you, you, were, you were saying that you had been at a, uh, a wedding out of town, saw a nephew you hadn't seen in a while, we're talking money, and pretty impressed with the way he has himself budgeted. Yes, definitely. I was very excited to hear how he and his fiance were handling their finances, and uh, they're keeping their expenses very, very low. And that's the key to having a great budget. Um, so I, see, I hate the whole idea of budgets. Um, um, oh, well, me too. I have to admit, you know, over the years, because I didn't do a very good job with them, to be quite frank, because yeah. I worried that I'd have to go out and track every single penny that I was spending. And, and, you know, in the end, really what you're trying to do with the budget is to prevent overspending, which ultimately leads to piling up a debt. So it really doesn't matter what you're overspending on, whether it's dining out, entertainment, clothes, it's still debt. And when I looked at my own spending history, I realized it wasn't the little luxuries that got me in trouble. It mm-hmm. was the large irregular expenses, the vacations, the major repairs, the holidays, those are the ones that got me in trouble. It's easy to overspend on those. You have to plan. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and you came across, I guess, the, the 60, 60% solution, which makes sense to you, so spell it out to me. It, it's a great, I think, budgeting tool. It simplifies things. So here's the method. 60% is to committed expenses, and that's going to be your insurance premiums, your food, your clothing, your taxes, mm-hmm. you know, all your basic bills. Yeah. 10% goes to your regular expenses, so those are going to be repairs, new appliances, holiday gifts, predictable, predictable expenses. Then you've got 10% to retirement, another 10% to long-term savings, which you could use also to pay off debt. And lastly, it's important, 10% for fund money. You have to have something to have some fun with. Exactly. So I know recently you were out, on, and hopefully you got to do something fun. And, hey, that's where the fun money kicks in, and you have to plan for it. If you have it in your budget, you don't have to feel guilty about spending it. Makes perfect sense to me. Casey Ball and Hangle Capital Management. Thanks, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow. Right back on 700 WL.